We're here in uh, response to a tornado that blew through this area on January 30th. It did a lot of damage, I think over 400 homes that were affected. A uh, lot destroyed, only one death, but uh, several injured. We had been asked by Adairsville for our shower trailer. Our Georgia Cumberland shower trailer has uh, 13 showers in it. There's six women and, and seven men. And uh, it, they can get hot showers. It has six pull-out sinks on the outside so people can shave and wash and clean up out there. We were asked by the state of Georgia and also by uh, Gordon County to come in and set up a warehouse to handle donated goods that come in. That's what our forte is in disaster response. As such, the county provided us with this building and now the county has asked us also to do distribution. And uh, we have a pretty good selection of things that people will be able to use. They'll come in, they'll be screened, uh, they'll fill out a client form, uh, we send them through the distribution center with an escort who keeps track of what they take and they're given a four-day supply. They can come in and after four days and get some more and uh, we will try to take care of their needs. We were in our office and the weather radio went off and it said there was a uh, storm coming. We heard this 747 airplane coming at you and it was making a pretty close. I said, uh-uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but uh, I was in the living room and uh, I says, you better find some place that's safe. So they say you're supposed to take a blanket and fill it out. <laughs> Didn't have time to grab it. We went into, I went to the bathroom and uh, hunkered down there. I uh, went in the master bedroom closet, my wife and I, and we were standing there about two minutes and the, uh, the trap door to the attic went up in the air and came down and landed right in front of us. And I looked out and saw daylight because our living room was gone. The jet plane went away and the roof went off and the wall, the end walls came out, but it kept on raining. And so <laughs> with a hole in the roofs and everything, you know, it would made everything wet and that caused a lot of problems. The Lord took care of us and we were in our in, in there and we had no damage, no nothing. I mean no no scratches on us. And we just knelt down and praised the Lord because for protection. The house can go. It's just stuff. Our church family has been just wonderful. The caddy when he was out, what is about a hundred kids this morning and I don't know, maybe about the same this afternoon. They cleaned all the tin, glass, debris from everywhere. I mean, it was just everywhere. Um, trees. Insulation. Insulation was just everywhere. And they did find a few things, even crystal things that were not broken, that was way out in the pasture. I would say the biggest blessing I've seen is just see the church family, the Adventist church family from Calhoun and Darius, everybody just come together. And just, I think that the families, the Pattons, the Hansons have really felt that. And the community. I mean, we've had individuals living in, especially the Hansons um, cul-de-sac there that have said, you know, we're amazed that you guys have come out and done all this for us. We had a guy, a neighbor of theirs that was crying when he was telling us, I would have never gotten this done. So that was, that was neat to see, just that we could help out that way. I think that this is an awesome opportunity. Uh, we were, the school had already had a community service day planned for next week, but when this happened and there's such a big need for the community, uh, it's just a way to get them out and let them do some real service. And I, I thought it was great. I think it's important to help out our community as best we can and to show our children that this is what God has asked us to do, is help those around us in their time of need. And so what a better opportunity for us to show that to our children. I know they learn lots in the classroom, but we also want to instill in them a sense of service and what they can do for other people, not just when it's community service day, not just when it's a disaster, uh, but they can take um, the desire to help other people and make that a part of their, their everyday life as they go through academy and beyond.